we're getting ready for branding. They're gonna brand about 100 head. So kick off to branding season here for the K4. Off to a great start. Sarah splits her time between ranching and barrel racing. So days like today can be hard if you already had a long hey. night. Last night I went to the rodeo at Payson, got home about 12.30, got the horses put up and got in bed about one, knowing that I needed to get up at three. Cody woke up with an earache, so she didn't get to come with us. Planned on getting our horses saddled at 4.30 and we'll hopefully be horseback by close after daylight. Running a family, running a ranch, and running barrels must not be hard enough. Sarah even finds time to give back to the sport that she loves. I was a director for the WPRA for six years as a turquoise circuit director. Then I produce a weekly barrel series in the spring here in Prescott at the Prescott Rodeo Grounds, just to try to support all the local barrel racers too. All the cows are accounted for, so now we move to the next stage. As usual, Sarah's already thinking a few steps ahead. Sarah, what's next? I think I'm gonna push those bulls out and then we'll get set up to start branding. Do you separate the moms from the babies or no? We'll pull some of those cows out, yeah. Just some, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll push everything and brand in that girl. Go, Sarah, go! Hey, hey, so we're just gonna push those dries out. Basically what we did was we decided to go ahead and sort the dry cows off first, which means a cow that doesn't have a calf or has had some issues, we'll move them into that pin. Then we'll come back, probably take a couple of the cows that do have calves out, just to make it easier to brand, but you gotta separate the dry cows first just to get them out of the group. 